Since we do not normally offer our daily devotions on Sundays, I'd like to begin today with a meditation I think very appropriate for yesterday's observance of Mother's Day. It is taken from a book by Barbara Cawthorn Crafton called Meditations on the Psalms. Barbara Crafton is an Episcopal priest as well as a mother and grandmother. She has a daughter and two granddaughters. This particular meditation is on the sixth verse of Psalm 128. May you live to see your children's children. Barbara writes, Although you hear people say to so all the time, it isn't really just because you can give grandchildren back to their parents when they start to cry that makes having them so wonderful. It's something much deeper and harder to put into words. Was I a good mother? I am aware now from the vantage point of elapsed decades that the answer is yes and no. Some things were great. Some things should have been a lot better. I see in my children a number of wonderful qualities that I help them acquire. And I see some weaknesses I know to be mine. And I see much that came from elsewhere. Injuries and blessings that form them as they walk through their growing up years. What a remarkable thing it is to see it all begin again. I see my grandchildren with the eyes of experience. I see things I recognize. The flash of a dimple here. A certain open-hearted gaze there. The same one I used to meet from another little girl long ago. They carry us in them, their mother and me. And they go forth into the world that will form them differently from the way our two different worlds formed us. I know now, better than I knew it when I was a young mother, how glorious and how painful their journey into an unknown future will definitely be. I ache for their futures at the same time as I rejoice for them. And perhaps I also ache and rejoice for my own past and their mother's. Her motherhood, her girlhood, my motherhood and girlhood mingle with told and retold stories of my own mother's girlhood and a few from my grandmother's. They all rest in these little girls, my granddaughters. For the larger portion of their lives, I will be gone. They will have stories of our times together to tell, I hope, but I will only be a memory. I want them to pay attention to the ache and to the joy of life, more attention than I paid, more probably than young people can. But I know so now. I am the link between them and the past, as they are my link to a future I will not see. Blessings on it, little girls, and on you forever and forever. I really do like that last part. I am the link between them and the past, as they are my link to a future I will not see. That's probably as good a definition of the communion of saints as I've ever heard. And that's largely what Easter is all about here at the Church of the Advent. We are surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses, past, present, and future. So, a belated Happy Mother's Day. And I'm glad to be on this Easter journey with all of you. And I hope you all know how very much you are loved.